While our commentary is generally considered family-friendly, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amell play Telltale Games The Walking Dead. On the last episode, well, I was in control, and the easiest thing to explain is that we got Clementine back. That's the easiest thing. Now Mal's in control, and um, in order to get Clementine back, I had to choke a guy in a closet and then shoot him in the head. But to be honest, he kind of deserved it. So now, um, Mal, you can learn more. Ay, ay, ay. Which way out? Through there. Lee, it's a hotel room. It's pretty. I'm scared to know what's in that bag. Jesus. Don't look in there. That's what no. I thought. I know. That's what I thought. I had a feeling. Mm -hmm. I had a creepy, creepy feeling last episode, and I was right, and oh my god. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. That's weird. Which way out? Through there. Did you try to go through? Yeah. Hmm. Just the way she said it was really weird, like... Mm hmm like she had been in there. Like she was nervous or something. Out to the hallway. Can you... Wait, 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 wait. Before you well, go in there, can you see the room that Clem came out of? I tried. I couldn't... I was, like, standing in front of it doing one of these numbers. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that was a possibility. Oh, God. Hi. It... it didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. Have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. If we smell like them? Oh, fun. This happens in the show. Oh, That's no. where I've seen this before. I kept thinking, where have they done this before? And we did. We watched the first season of Walking Dead, like, years ago. That's where it's from. How fitting that the, the game borrowed something from the show. I mean, possibly from the comic book originally. Makes sense, too. Oh, God. Is Lee starting to look real pale? Yeah. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Gross. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Oh boy. God, that would be the most frightening thing. Mm-hmm. Hey buddy, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Thanks. You good good man? I'll see you in church on Sunday. How's the wife and kids? Wife and kids doing good? 
Good to... Oh, Linda! Hey, you still working the drive-thru with Wendy's? All right, I'll probably swing by this weekend. Be a good time. Uh, me and me and Clem get a, get a burger. Yeah, all right. Oh, hey, Jethro! Hi. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. It's a good thing I didn't cut this arm off. Hey, Larry! How you doing, buddy? Yeah! You still, you still working at the disco? Oh, goodness. Clark, I see you've been working on your thriller dance. She recognizes someone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything that just happened broke my heart, and also, I'm scared. <sighs> that was her mom. And then, he Wake collapsed. Up. Please don't be dead. Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I... I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents. Uh, no. They didn't get to you, right? No. Well, we got away. They're dead, for sure. Get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! Oh, shoot, was not prepared. <laughs> you notice how he doesn't use his left hand yep. for anything? <coughs> Just in the event you've chopped it off. See? Clementine, honey. What, what, what happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I love how he's just chilling. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Jeez. Oh, man. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But they would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. It's so funny that zombie's just sitting. Like, like he's waiting. So ridiculous to me. He's on the job. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Oh. Man, Lee is seriously at the end of his <clears throat> rope. Uh huh. I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. I'm trying. Mouse hitting that button <laughs> as hard as she can. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. 
fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. I thought that sculpture would be good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. I think you just have to... There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. I was thinking that sculpture. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He is Is he chained to the chair? Smarter than all of them. Oh, that makes more sense. Don't get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lobby. And don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. You can open it. Walker in there is trapped. We'll figure out what to do together. Then open it. He's he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you need. You do it really good. There's keys and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. This is it. Killing them's not easy, but you know what to do. I do. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. Why? No matter what happens, we're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't. I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. Yeah, the keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Claire. Always the gun. I would have beat him in the head with the baseball bat first. I didn't know if that was an option. Get him! Get him! Grab it! Watch out! My god. Nice one, Mal. She knew what she had to do. Hmm. I did it. I got him. 
great, Tim. Good job. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Hmm. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> and always keep moving. You're gonna want to find some place like the motor in, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also... What? What is it? God. Hmm. So that was rough. Uh huh. That's it. Oh my God. All right. So, um. I should read these. Most people removed the arm? Wow. Wow, okay. I guess they were just desperate to try and make a difference. Most people lost our temper with Kenny. Um, you and 40% of you kept your weapons. Yeah. I thought that was... Smart. I thought it was smart. You and 42% of uh, players killed the stranger. I mean, I'm trying to think of how you wouldn't have. It probably had to do with the choices I made when I was talking. Yeah. Where I was like, just kill me. Yeah. But but I knew when I went into that whole situation, 
You didn't care if he lived or died. Yeah. Like, I kept my weapons because I was like, I'm going to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. So I went into it knowing that. If it had to come to that, and it did, but um, you win 63% of players made sure his lead didn't turn. Mm. All right. Press A. You defended his son in the drugstore. You told him about your past. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. You found water for Duck when he needed it. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. You called him a racist. You tried to revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. You called her a bitch when you first met. You backed her up when supplies went missing. You left her on the side of the road. You chose to reveal your past to her. You helped him uh, get onto the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. You stood up for Ben and Crawford. But then you dropped him from the bell tower. You trusted Carly with your past. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily. You defended her against Lily's accusations. Uh, you met Krista on your worst day thus far. You hid your bite from her. After getting separated, you told them to find you. You asked her and Omid to uh, find Clementine a family. Uh, you told Doug he was a strange guy. You weren't wrong. You were with him when you found your brother. Uh, he died when walkers attacked the drugstore. You argued that Duck was not bitten back in Macon. You fed him when he was starving. You let him be your sidekick uh, and solve a mystery. You shot him before he could turn. Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Telltale Games The Walking Dead. But I think the important thing to point out is that this is season one. Yeah. Like this, this is this is season one of The Walking Dead. So for everyone watching, like, oh my God, you know, if this was the first time they experienced this, uh, there's more. <laughs> there is more. Um, it continues to follow the life of Clementine in season two. It's not a different like story completely or anything. It continues to follow Clementine. Um, and also, if it's not already obvious, that is uh, something we haven't played or experienced yet. So, what's going to happen now is uh, we are we're going to immediately move into DLC. There was a, a very small amount of DLC released for season one called 400 Days. So, we are going to, you know, as soon as, as soon as it's time for another episode of Walking Dead, we're going to do 400 Days, um, and then after that. We're going to be taking a brief break from The Walking Dead to do something that will make your heart hurt a lot less, <laughs> I think, is the best way of, of, uh, of putting it. Um, we're going to, going to be doing Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and then, after that, we'll be coming back to uh, The Walking Dead. So, we're, we're going to continue playing this game, so if, if you're like, oh my god, this is crazy, like, what, what the heck? Um, yeah, we're, there's more, and we plan on playing it. Now... If you've experienced Season 1 now, um, and you want to play Season 2 yourself, now's a great time, because we are going to be taking a break um, to, to work on some other projects. So, if you wanted to, to play, now's a, a really good time. Um, but dang, what a game. Yeah. What a game. Like, it was, it was one of those things, like, I'd always heard that it was good. Uh, but it, it really is. Like, in it... I think my favorite thing... About... The game was that it was not afraid to tackle anything. Yeah. And frequently, it would just pick subjects that... You know, subjects, experiences, etc. That are just so... Taboo and... Um, very hard to think about. Very hard to make decisions... And then force them on you, you know? It's, yeah. um... It, it was really interesting to play through this. And it was a lot of fun to play with you, Mal. Mm -hmm. um, it was fun to play because we are we are different people. And, like, just a few episodes in, I, I, I remember thinking, like, man, things are going to get, like, weird because... Like, we think the same sometimes, but there's other times where we make wildly different choices. Yep. So that was one of my favorite uh, aspects. What was the hardest decision you think you had to make? Probably Ben. Probably Ben. Or Lily. 
I made the one for Lily. Yeah. I couldn't have made that. That would have been tough. That was probably... That may have been the hardest thing I had to do. Although I also was the deciding factor of, for Larry. Yeah. And I was trying to revive him. And that was hard because, like, the entire thing up to that point, I had been like, no, I'm going to kill him. And then I had I was given the opportunity, and I was like, okay, I can't actually kill this guy. So there were some really hard decisions. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> of course. That was a nice little stinger. Now, did you interpret that to be Omid and Krista? I don't know. I mean, like, it had to have been humans, not walkers. Well, yeah, I understand that. But, like, my thinking was, why wasn't she with Omid and Krista in that cutscene, right? So maybe yeah. she got out and Omid and Krista, like, couldn't find her and left or something. I don't know. No idea. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, um, Walking Dead continues, this time with DLC, 400 Days. I'm in control. Um, I, I'm, I don't really know what to expect. Um, I know that f from what I've heard on Twitter, I think, uh, from you guys, I believe some of the characters, it leads into episode two, which is cool. So it's kind of like a teaser for things to come. So get excited. Because we are jumping into even more Walking Dead next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Amount Play. Telltale Games, The Walking Dead.